how to find missing objects in Blender. So you start up your Blender and you got a screen looks something like this here and you can't find anything. You click on your camera that don't work. You go to view, you go to frame all. Yep, that didn't work either. Well, let's start over here by making sure that we have everything not hidden. And we can see everything's not hidden. So I'm going to go over here to filter and I'm going to make sure this here says all. And also I want to make sure all of these things are also checked. Now I have everything in here and I can see I still have some stuff here that's hidden. Now that I have everything unhidden, I'm going to go back up here to my filter and I'm going to change this from all. I'm also going to make sure all view layers and I'm going to change this to selectable. That shortens my menu down quite a bit. So everything in this menu should be selectable. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to hit the forward slash key. You got to click on it and you got to bring your mouse out to the center of the screen. You're the viewport. Hit the forward slash which is also the question mark. And there she was. I click it twice and she shows up then she disappears so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to hit one of these hit the A key just the A key by itself A is an apple and I'm going to bring my mouse back out here to the middle of the viewport and I'm going to hit the forward slash key again. There she was. I hit it twice. And I have something here that's messed up. And it's the sandals. I want to come up here to show overlays. Brings everything into focus here. And I'm going to delete these sandals. I can see that they're messed up. Now I'm going to click on something. I'll come out here. I'm going to hit the I'm going to hit the A key. Select everything again. Come out here and hit the forward slash twice, and everything shows up. So everything's back to normal. Hit my camera here, and my camera's not focused on anything. I can try to focus the camera, but I'll leave that to another video. I'm going to click on the shaders up there so that I can get a better picture here. It's going to take a little bit. Now I want to go over here to bench. And I can see my bench is selected. I want to go up here to view frame all. Frame all puts everything focuses in on everything that is visible. Now I'm going to go up here to view. I'm going to go to frame selected and it's going to focus in on my bench. 
and I get two benches. I'm going to run my animation here. Ooh, animation is slow. I'm going to pause that. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on playback and I'm going to select frame dropping. We're going to speed that up a little bit. And there she's sitting down. It's the top bench I want to delete. There we go. Alright, well that's good. So yeah, it was... I thought I told you to pause. Stop. Alright. There we go. So, frame selected is, I'm going to select her skirt here, I'm going to go up here, view, frame selected it, and it focuses in on there, or I can select her hair, and focus in on that. So frame selected is a handy button. It is the num it is the period on the num lock pad but not everybody has a num lock pad and not everybody wants to come up here and click this every time so there is something that I can do I can go add to quick favorites so now when I move everything out of the way I can hit the Q key Q key, hit frame selected, it's not going to do anything because I don't have anything selected over here. I'm going to select bench and hit the Q key. And it focuses it on the bench. I go up here to show overlays. and everything looks back to normal again. So let's do one other thing. Let's right click here and hit close area. Right click on this. Close area. Close area. And now everything is gone. It's an easy fix. There's plus up here add workspace. I'm going to hit that. I'm going to go to general. I'm going to go to layout. And now I have a new layout. Which means I can go over to this one and I can delete it. I can right click on it. Right click on layout. Hit delete. It's gone. Now I go to my new layout. And I can right click on it and I can put it back to the front where it was before. Now I can double click on it and rename it. Now if you do have problems, any problems, creating a new layout is a good way to fix a lot of things. So Another thing that you might want to do if you don't have a numpad and you can't hit the period on your numpad, you can also go up here to edit. You can go to preferences and you can create a keyframe. I can go here to view, frame selected. Right now it says numpad period. I can go up here to the search bar and I can tap in frame selected. And it pulls up frame selected in all the different views 
and right here is control numpad under 3D view and I know that's what it is. I can click on that and change it to another key like the Q key. But the Q key is used for something else. I'm not going to do that because pretty much every key in Blender is used for something. So I can just hit the restore button there and it puts it back to original. So if you want to mess with that, that's all fine. All you got to do, if it does mess something up, hit the restore key. I'm not going to do that. I like everything where it's at. All right. I think that pretty much covers everything. I can't think of anything else, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And if anybody has any more problems, I'll make another.